I'm down here in my living room. This is Material Mom. Well, my real name is Angela. And so I am going to do a haul, but it's not a Timu haul. It's a family dollar haul. Because we in our town, we only have the grocery store, family dollar, tractor supply, what else? Bomb guards. Bomb guards. And, you know, the two pizza places and then local restaurants, but Maverick, it's really sucks. We don't have any shopping. So family dollars, what I have to go to. So what did I buy? I spent, here's what I spent. Um, $64. I went back in and got two more things. So it came to back to that much, $64. Shouldn't, I shouldn't even got in, I would have saved $64. Which I would like to clarify a few things here now. When we're reading, Jamie and I at nighttime, we read the comments that people send in and it's kind of fun, you know, we comment about them. And so we've been reading them and one person said, I'm laughing now, you know, you can't hurt my feelings because I am know how lucky I am and I know how our love is strong and we have family and I know I'm God's daughter. And, you know, so what people think of me doesn't affect my life one bit. And it's just maybe it makes you miserable. I don't know. So we just kind of laugh at it. So one person said that my RV, when I gave you the tour, they said it looks real messy, not very organized. Well, of course it's not organized. We, I took everything out of it for the winter carelessly, and then we drove it and everything slides everywhere. And of course it's not organized yet. I haven't packed it up yet. So I will be going out there and with our new stuff for the trip and pack it up and organize it. Don't worry. And it can't stay perfect because it's very small quarters. Sometimes you have to stuff things in places that, so it won't fall while you drive. And like the paper tiles or something. But we know where everything is in it when we leave. And, you know, each cupboard, Jamie puts his clothes one place, I put mine another. And it's organized. So don't worry about us. We'll be fine. And so that made me laugh. And then I had another one that made me laugh. They were saying, you live in that big old house. And then you're just begging for donations. And there's some people who are homeless and don't even have a house. I know that. We watch news. We watch, we travel through LA. We've traveled. We've seen the homeless. We know all that. But... You have to understand, Jamie, as even as soon as he took had the ranch, his dad's ranch, he helped his dad, then he bought the ranch from his dad. Jamie got up at five o'clock every morning, his whole life to milk cows. And then you have to milk them again at night. So during the daytime, he had other jobs like masonry. He carried rocks up the ladder to do chimneys, you know? He worked like a dog all those days. And then when he's off of work, like some people are off work, they just get to go home and sit and have dinner. He had to go milk cows then. Hundred cows, how many cows did you have to milk? Eight, 50. And then in the summertime, they had to do hay and he had to go make the cut swath. It's called swathing. When you cut the hay down, you let it dry. Then you have to bale it in the, you have to plant it anyway. He worked still, like a dog to get what he has. To do your eight hour job. Plus his eight hour job. So add up how many hours. And cows are seven days a week. You don't have a day off. Sunday is your day off. You have to milk them twice, but you don't have your other job during the day. But Jamie worked hard for what he has. And then he built this house. How would you like? He had one helper building this house. And, you know, he did it all. The sheetrock people never showed up, so he did the sheetrock. We did hire out the electrical and the plumbing. No, but I do the plumbing. He did the plumbing. Okay, the electrical. But he did everything else. And so, you know, he deserves what he has because he worked like a dog to get it. And then, you know, I used to sew, have to sew for people to make money. 
and so the cleaners. How would you like to have to sew every day when you weren't in the mood for it and you didn't want to and your back hurt for the, at the sewing machine? It sucked, but we worked for everything that we have. And so, and because Jamie built the house, it's big, but we didn't spend it like if we would buy this house already built, we couldn't afford it. So we got it for about half the money. Because you don't, you figure your house materials and then labor is, you know, divided in two. Labors and then your cost of the house. So we didn't have to pay the labor. So we got it for cheaper. And anyway, so I just want to set people straight. And you know, when I ask for subscribers, that's not begging for donations. To subscribe to me doesn't cost you anything. You just push the button and it just makes me get more views. How I get the money from these videos is because they have commercials that those companies are paying for the commercial. And YouTube gives you a little bit of what the companies pay. They pay a lot more than what we get. So I'm not begging for donations. Nobody's donating anything to me. And I know most of you know that. So I just laugh when people say things that are like, you don't even know the real truth. You're speaking before you know the facts. My my RV will be organized. You have to be organized in it to find anything. You can't just shove things anywhere. Everything, everything has its own place in my RV. So we'll be fine. And, um, you know, we don't have tons of money. Trevor, all my kids make more money than we do because they have two incomes than working. And to me, I have found in this life, the people who work and don't do drugs, we don't drink alcohol, we don't smoke. If you add up smoking, alcohol, eating out, how much does that cost you? We don't do any of those things. We eat out maybe once a month. We cook our own food. We can our own food. Jamie grows our own food and we are frugal and we, you know, so you don't know all the facts before you're judging. And I never asked for anybody to donate anything to me. In fact, I've been donating to people with the extra money. We pay 600 a month donations. Then we pay another thousand. And then we pay, well, I, I like to keep it private, but I do donate some money to people. But anyway, so we help our kids out we babysit for free, we do a lot of things. So I'm not asking anybody for donations. I just wanted to share some humor and laughter and my life with people who need to see a reality, a true reality show. That's what I'm doing is a true reality show. This is it, this is what you get. I took down my Easter decorations. See, no bunnies in the background. We don't have the fireplace on because it's warm. The sun is shining in, so my glasses kind of went dark. And I went to the store, I went to see Trevor, I went to see Hillary, I went and got the mail, and I, Jamie went and got the oil changed in the RV, and I got our prescriptions, and is there anything, and the mail, I already said the mail. Anyway, so I got my chores done for today, and so now I'm back home, and now I'm going to show you what I bought at Family Dollar. Now, I usually get these from Amazon and they deliver them and they're $5.99 for the box, but Family Dollar has them for $4 for how many in here? Uh, 80 in here. So when Jamie comes in and on a hot day, he'll put like, how many do you put in your cup? About four, six? About four. Four, oh, four. Probably five. And how many calories are they? Six pops is 90 calories. So do not eat more than six, Jamie. Sometimes I do eat six. I know, but if you let it melt, you're only getting about this much juice. Is it real juice? No, it's just sugar water. Water, high fructose corn syrup. But then they were only $4, so I ran back in and I bought a box for uh, Credence and Macy and I bought a box for Chad because he, my oldest son, loves these. And so... Our grandkids eat them all Yeah, they, I let them eat as many as they want. And then they take a handful home with them. So we go through a lot of them. So 
I'll go back and get more. And we also go through a lot of these. Jamie, we also go through a lot of these. Because mm -hmm. these are his tissues for his nose. But, using paper towels. but guess where we store, where he stores them? Where the toilet paper is. He said they're both paper products, so he puts them with the toilet paper. So here we have people over for dinner, and they go, Jamie, we need some napkins. And then you see him going into the bathroom <laughs> to get the napkins. And I'm going, and then I'm like, oh no, those people are gonna think we're scroungies. And I had bought some of this, and Credence loves his nachos. So I got some more of this cheese. And it's like a dollar fifty or something. And then he likes his salsa too. The last time I bought it, it was real chunky. He doesn't like chunky salsa. I found out. And then I got. I didn't have any fettuccine. I love to make clam sauce with fettuccine. And so, clam, fed it. What's it called? Clam. I don't even remember what it's called now. Anyway, I'll make that. Linguini and clam sauce, but we use fettuccine. And then I love angel hair. And these are cheaper, $1.25 at Family Dollar grocery store. They don't have any dollar stuff anymore. Three or four dollars at the grocery store. Yeah, and then I got, we make, always in the summertime, we make the make pasta the salads noodles. with this kind of noodles, the spiral noodles. So I wanted to get, I probably have some, but I want to have it on hand because when we're having a crowd, I make that. And then I got some diet chips. Did you know they have diet chips? They're called this, salt and vinegar. You know why they're called diet? Why I call them diet? You could only eat a few of them and then you just get so much vinegar in you, you can't eat anymore. So I only eat about four and I'm done. So it lasts all week. And then I just get a little car and a little treat, but not so many calories when you can only eat a few. So I'm hot. I gotta take off this ratty coat that I bought that has so many. I'm afraid to wash it, it's gonna fall apart. Look at these holes. This is a hole. This is a hole. And then I thought this was more pink and red, but it doesn't match very good. But I didn't care because I had my coat on. But this is one of my shirts. When I cleaned out my t-shirts in the closet and I found this, I like it. I still don't have any memory of where I got it. Maybe somebody did laundry at my house and they left it here. They never told me. No, they didn't. Because if they did laundry, it'd be down here and I do my laundry upstairs, because we have two. What else did I buy? Uh, I can tell Credence in the back seat, he opened these. I like those sucky things. And then I got a few things. Oh, wait, here's something. Jamie, I got this for you because his daughter, Andrea's birthday, and Everlyn's, his granddaughter's birthday. So I got him these cards. I just buy the 50 cent ones because they're just going to throw them away. Nobody keeps a card. Here it says, just a simple card to say, happy birthday. No email, no text, no internet. Look what I found in my drawer. What is, oh, bought, he bought a card for me and he I forgot. bought a card for you. And then it says, old school's best. So he'll, I'll write the addresses on it upstairs for him. And then he will write in them. This is a birthday card. Well, save it. I'm, I'm going to have another one. Oh, here, let's address another issue people say that I always mention about dying on my videos. I know I do. I really do. Because when you get to be our age, you've lived more years than you have in front of you. You have more behind you. So you're aware of, I could only have, if I'm lucky, 20 years left. That's, if I'm lucky, I'll only have five. And that's how long I lived in this house. That went by so fast. And he probably has less because he only has 30% of his heart working. And, and Jamie and I face reality. We talk about it and we know about it. We're not going to be surprised like, oh, no, I didn't know you were going to die someday. No, we're prepared for it. So if it happens, that's why we did our trust, not done yet. 
but that's why, because we know it's going to happen and we want to be prepared for it and not like die and then our kids have to clean up the big mess here and they won't know what to do with it all. They're gonna have a great yard sale, I know. But, so that's why I mention always about dying. And I remember going to my mother's house and she, it was always funny because she goes, wanted to buy a new dress and she goes, oh, but I'm not gonna buy a new dress. I don't have very many years left or I'm not gonna buy that because it'd just be a waste of money. I won't, you know, I don't have that much longer to live. So I know that other people think that when you get old, that you know you're gonna face reality, you are gonna die someday. Is it worth buying and spending the money on it? And, um, you know, we have to talk about it and plan. Like Jamie thinks I would remarry, and I said, no, I wouldn't. When you've had the best, you do not wanna settle for someone else. And some people, I know this one lady, she had to remarry because her husband left her without any means of support. And so her house wasn't paid for, so she had to get a job and she was old. She's in her seventies. And then she found a guy to marry her. And I'm thinking, oh, that worked out good for her. Well, I don't have to marry somebody to take care of me and help pay the bills. I don't have to even get a roommate. That's because I'm planning to give you enough till the end of your life. See, he's planning for me. I said, all right, then. I won't have to remarry and have another man in the, your bed where you sleep. <laughs> that, I would never, you know, that is disgusting. And besides, when you're this old, no. And I, I married, my great grandma said, I don't need to remarry, I'm married. I have a husband, he's just not with me right now. So that's what will be with Jamie. I would never remarry. And the other thing is, um, I'm not lonely, so I don't need to remarry for that reason. I got plenty of people. In fact, we're getting a new roommate. My grandson, Parker. How old is Parker, do you think? 21? I don't know how old he is. He might be 22. Might be 22. Anyway, he's out of college now, so he's gonna come here and stay. So don't get any ideas, because we're going on vacation. The house will not be empty. Parker's coming, living here. And so um, he'll be getting the mail and getting our deliveries and everything. And he's gonna be sleep, have one of the bedrooms, and he'll be here. So that makes us, he'll feed the fish. And if anything happens, he will take care of it. He's a real responsible boy. He's also single looking for a wife. He's dated a few girls that he really liked, but it wasn't meant to be. But I have another, and I have two grandsons that are unmarried, wait, looking for a wife. So, anyway, but all of, the, all of my watchers are old, so they won't do me good. Now, we bought this oil at uh, Sam's Club, and it was a really good price for olive oil, so we bought two giant things of it. The problem is it has garlic infested in it. <laughs> What's the word? Olive oil garlic mixture. Uh, it has garlic mixture olive oil. So it's good to make when I'm making my linguine clam sauce and my shrimp scampi and stuff when I make that. You want the garlic, right? But Jamie doesn't like it very much. And then... It doesn't taste bad when you make shrimp, put it in shrimp. Right. So anyway, I got this, Jamie, to put... Because we have a big gallon of it. So I'm going to... And it has a lid to block out the garlic spell. I mean, so I got this to put in the kitchen so we could put that oil in it out of the gallon and use it when we cook. So I knew you'd be happy about that. And then I used all my packing tape to mail the package back that the team who wanted, the broken mirror, they wanted. I told them it was broke. I took a picture of it. I don't think they even look, nobody's looking at the picture or anything. So it doesn't even, one time I didn't get something in the bag, the team who bag, it wasn't in there. And so they said, send a picture of what you didn't get. So I opened up the bag and took a picture of the empty bag. <laughs> and sent it to him. It worked. So I had to send that. I went, that was one of my errands today too. I took my package back, the broken mirror to send back to him. 
and I used all my strapping tape. I bet Timu goes through a lot of this tape because they tape them up good. And then for the trip, we always like these wipes in the car for the trip because, you know, if you know, you know, you need them. And they spill and stuff. And then I love these pens. I love a good pen. These are Sharpies gel pens. Do you want me to try one of these to write your no, card? No, I only like big pens. See, this is better, but no, he likes his big pens. All right, whatever you want. You can't treat, can't change the dog's old tricks. What's I that saying? I my writing up too bad with the gel pens. Oh, he smears it. You smear it? One time, I saw Lady Die. Remember Lady Die? And she was writing, they showed some show about her and she was signing invitations or I don't know what she was signing, but she signed it with her beautiful pen with ink, you know, the real ink pen. And then she had a blotter cloth that she put on top of the signature to blot the wet so that it would be dry. So Jamie, you need a blotter cloth, not your hand. He just uses big pens. All right, you can do whatever you want. I'm not trying to change you. All right, if you've ever looked at my house, you see the big sidewalk out here, cement? Well, the grandkids love to do this. $3 for the chalk. That is a good buy. And they can write on the sidewalk to their heart's content. I know, but then I have to No. When it rains, before it rains, you know, we'll let them do it when we know the rain's coming. We'll have to get the pressure washer out. No, it's just chalk. Let them do it. So I got that for them. And then I got for my RV trip, Spam. I love fried Spam. Do you? I think you learned that as a kid. I did. My grandma always made it for us. I got light because, you know, we're dieting. But when I go to Carolyn or Amy's, we're going to have fried Spam. And I'm. it's my contribution for the dinner or the breakfast. You could use it for anything, lunch. All right. And then I got these. All right, they're not that great, but it sure works good. And they had them for a dollar again. And they're these wonderful potatoes. Instant potatoes. Look, yeah, he's... he's. One garlic, I know. Well, this one will be for me, and this one's for you. Just buttered one. No, but there's sometimes you have a gravy in the kitchen, but you don't want to peel potatoes. Look, he's looking at me so mad because he grows those potatoes. And he loves his potatoes. Mashed, fried boiled, shredded. He loves them all. He cut the little squares. And squares. The cheese in them. But anyway, sometimes a cook needs these to put a big, a quick dinner. Plus in the motor home, the RV, these are so easy. You just have to boil the water and dump them in. And then you have a little bit of the meal. You never know. All right, is that everything? That's everything. So, oh, and then I bought, because Credence is going out of town, Macy Credence and their family is going to Rock Springs. So I bought them some bubble, double bum. <laughs> it's the big fat gum. Bubba gum, bu yama gubba. Hubba bubba gum. Hubba bubba, all right, whatever. I bought them each a pack of that and then candy and then those talkies they love, those hot talkies. And Credence goes, and then tomorrow when I poop it, my bottom will burn. Why would you eat them then? And it made all his whole mouth blue. He ate them before they left. But anyway, I bought that stuff too to surprise them and take to them. Because they're my best friends. I told them that today. I said, do you realize you are my best friends? And they looked at me like, what? I said, yes, I don't have any friends my age. And I have to come and get you to go with me places and stuff. And then I bought this for my trip too. Diet Coke. 
because I might be driving and I need the caffeine and we, Jamie may not want to stop at a store and I don't want to be like parched and everything. Oh, I always stop. He does. <laughs> he, when we're on vacation, he does whatever I want. He's not mean or an ogre. He's nice. So, but anyway, I want to be prepared. So I got that, those. It's not my favorite drink. I don't really like Coke, but in a pinch and if I'm driving, you need the screw top bottle so it's not gonna slosh all over and everything. So that was my exciting haul. I couldn't find anything else to buy there. I went down, up and down every row, every, every row. So that was all I could find to buy. All right, so I'm, I hope that we are still friends, video friends, after I told you my complaints about the comments. <laughs> but I don't erase anybody's comment because if you, I believe in everybody has a right to their opinion and what they wanna say. If you wanna say something like that, go ahead, say it. Like I say, it doesn't gonna hurt me a bit because I already am quite self-secure in my life and in my love and in my being. So. And you can think what you want, but all I'm doing is asking for subscribers, not donations. And you don't have, you can use your freedom. If you don't want to subscribe, you don't have to, but I am trying to get to 5,000 because I'm going to have a giveaway. I'm given the, I'm at 4,900. I'm given the giveaway. I probably will mail it Monday before our trip. And then I'm giving the other giveaway when I get 5,000. So I might buy something in on the coast, Brookings, Oregon, on the coast. We're driving up 101. I'll buy something there for the giveaway, a shell or something, I don't know, a souvenir. But I always think, why do you give me a souvenir for where you went? I didn't go there. Like people would bring you back a souvenir from where they were, a magnet or something. It's like, well, I never went there. It's not my memory. Should have bought me a piece of candy. Anyway, all right, enough. My husband's looking at me like, He's used to me, though. Well, People think. I was trying to think of something to say, but I couldn't think of anything. He's used to me, quite used to me. And he doesn't trust me anymore when I come with the cold can of pop to give him. He doesn't trust me. I know, because you always stick it on bare skin somewhere. See, he knows. So he knows me. So, And I can't tell him again how we're going to go see a wonderful rock formation. And he won't fall for that again. I know you don't care about rock. Do you know that story? I'll tell it again for people who don't know it. All right. We were going to Arizona, Flagstaff. And if you watch the Polygamy Wives, Cody Brown and Robin Brown and all of those Browns in Flagstaff, they live there. So we were going there. So I wanted to see where that Coyote Pass was, the land they bought that they never built on yet, you know. So I knew Jamie would never fall for a go in there because he could care less well, about... 30 miles out of the way. Well, you didn't know that. I didn't either. But anyway, so I pro put it in my GPS phone and I said, Jamie, there's a beautiful rock formation. You've got to see. You're going to love it. And he's like, oh, he got a little excited. I said, yeah, they say everyone loves it. All right, so I'm giving him directions, where to go, where to turn, where to do. I didn't know it was going to be like 30 miles outside of Flagstaff. So we go, you know, are you sure it's going to, yes, keep going, and, you know. So then we got there, and well, then. Eventually we got on some back road somewhere. Yeah, it was a real back road. Yeah. It wasn't. County sheriff started following us around. Yeah, like they, we were suspicious people. But anyway, we found it, and he's going, looking around. I said, this is it. And he's like, I don't see any rock formation. Well, it's just really Coyote Pass. I wanted to see where those polygs are going to build. And But now he's not a polygamy anymore because all the women divorced him. And now he just has Robin. And they'll probably divorce too. Who knows? I don't know. I, I don't think they should have a TV show anymore, really. But it was interesting in its day because we couldn't understand how could you live like that? Only have a part-time husband. Well, wait, my second husband, I just wanted him to be a part-time husband. <laughs> when you're drunk, be the other person's husband. And when you're sober, you can be here. And somebody said, I said something about the love of my life and it wasn't Jamie. And I don't know what I said, but Jamie's the love of my life. 
he's the person that, you know, I want to be with through eternity when we both die, because I'm talking about dying again. I don't believe in death to you part, so we're going to be together forever. 